Well, what do we have here? Huh? Is that what I think it is? What? It's a Pegasus, all right. I think it's her. Let's just have a look here. Down, girl! Easy there! Pardon me. Huh? Sumia, are you alright? Those boots of yours again. No, I mean, yes. I mean... <sighs> well, come no closer. This beast is crazed. Wait. It's okay, Captain. I can handle this. Shh. Easy now, girl. I won't hurt you. Shh. Whoa. How did she calm it so quickly? Wow. That's incredible, Sumia. <sighs> I've never seen anything like it. <sighs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing really. I just have a way with animals, I guess. Good. I should say so. Well... You all go on ahead. I'll dress her wounds and catch up as soon as we're able. Hmm? We can make time to wait for you. No. That's okay, Captain, but I can manage. Every moment is precious when all the Elysia is in danger. Thank you. Be safe, Sumia. Yes! As you command, sir. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we reached the capital of Ulysses, Ulysstal, and we met the Empress Emirian, who is the sister of Krom and Lyssa. In this episode, we are continuing our way up north, trying to prevent the Risen from making it to the capital. We are headed into Chapter 3, but I believe right now we have some supports that we could check. Or not, and my segue is completely ruined. We also don't have inventory trading available to us yet, so that also is completely ruined. I'm prepared for this Let's Play! <laughs> Frederick, I'm freezing! Stand beside my horse, milady. She'll shelter you from the wind. Oh. So this is the fortress? Right. The Lawn Fort. It stretches along the border of Ulysses with Regna Ferox. Ah. The cons that rule Ferox have grown quite weary of foreigners. Still, don't mistake a lack of hospitality for your open hospitality. This simply calls for a bit of diplomacy. <sighs> Negotiation is not my strong suit, but I'll do my best. Remember, everyone, your actions here reflect back on Ulysses. My lord. Trouble in the wind. The Feroxy Guard are mobilizing. What? Why? Right. Who could say? We'd have better be prepared for combat, just to be safe. Perhaps we ought to pool our supplies and select which shepherds to deploy. Loath as I am to trust her, Robin might offer some valuable insight in this. Hmm. Indeed, she is our tactician, after all. So, Robin, what do you suggest? So, this is where a kind of unfortunate part of the game comes in. The preparations menu, yeah. Preparing for battle is unfortunate, no. What I don't like is that you don't get to use every single character in the game in every single battle. I know it's sort of to be expected because you get a lot of single characters, so it would be kind of overpowered. Or either overpowered or uh, battles would go on for way too long if you could use every single character in the game every single time. But I kind of wish that you got to use every one of them just because I like them all as characters and whatnot. But... Some battles will have a limited amount of characters you can bring onto the battlefield, so we can't actually use every single one of them every time. Because of this, characters might end up falling behind in levels and whatnot, and you'll uh, sort of have to choose which ones you want to move forward with in the game. 
So, who do I want to abandon, really? I'm kind of okay with Muriel being the one we leave behind. I don't really like her as a character all that much. I am not familiar with every single support conversation with every single character, so maybe she's your favorite character and she has a great conversation with Stahl or Vake or something like that. I'm just blissfully unaware of, but honestly, I don't really know and I don't really care to find out right here and now, so... Uh, Muriel is probably the one I'm going to be leaving behind. I don't really care to have her join us throughout the rest of the adventure, though I might swap her out every now and again. Uh, but maybe it's not a matter of who you want to just have to be a fun character to keep with you. Sometimes it's a matter of actually strategizing, so maybe we have a bunch of characters who are weak to fires, so we would actually want to keep her. You can view the map beforehand and see what uh, sort of items and weapons uh, every enemy holds, so you could uh, plan your strategy according to that. Got a lot of stinging swords and axes and lances, that's for sure. Oh, this guy's a hammer. He looks being different. Uh, nothing else of interest, though. We got the boss up here. Okay. No new supports for us to check out. It's always important to have those uh, support conversations happen before battle since they give you buffs. Equip skills. Uh, I don't think we have any skills that we could... Uh, any new skills, at least, that we could equip or remove. We get new ones over time, but we can only have so many skills at so many different points of the game, so uh, you don't have to worry about that for now. Inventory. You could trade around the inventory if you so desire right here. Okay, after looking around my inventory, I didn't think there was anything that I really wanted to change around, so I just kept everything as is. Uh, the last thing I could tell you is that on the map, there is one more thing you could do. You could actually swap around the starting positions of all your characters. The only one that must be absolute is... Krom, I believe. You could never move Krom, but everyone else, you can move however as you please. Uh, I'm going to move Robin right here. I'm going to keep Krom and Robin sort of connected throughout the entire game, so uh, I'll keep them close to each other. I'm going to have Krom going this way. Uh, as for the horses, usually you can leave the horses uh, further inwards because they move so quickly. Uh, let's move Vake over here. Uh, who we got? We got bows, bows, and lances, so I guess Vake is good on this side. Then we have Lance's sword and Lance. Oh, maybe he would be better on this. I don't stinking know. Whatever. I'm playing on easy mode. I probably don't need to overthink it this stinking much. So, do that. And I think we're good to go, more or less. So, let's get things started. Who goes there? In the name of House Ulysses, I seek audience with the cons. Halt. Not another step, my bold lad. I've lancers at the ready. Wait. Hold, milady. We are not your enemy. Exalt Emury and herself sent us to discuss matters of a mutual interest. What? My only interest is keeping you out of Regna Ferox, brigand. <laughs> but brigand, now see here. Right. You think you are the first Ulyssians to try and cross our border? I have the authority to fell such imposters where they stand. What? How dare you? You are in the presence of Prince Krom, the Exalt's own blood. Yes, indeed, and I'm the Queen of Valm. I'm sure that's very hilarious to Fire Emblem enthusiasts. You do realize impersonating royalty is a capital offense, yes? Mm, then perhaps we should settle this in the Feroxy way. You claim to be the Prince of Ulysses? Then prove it on the battlefield. Emryon won't like this at all. Please, good lady, if you just listen. I've heard quite enough. Attack! <laughs> Sumia. Better hold on tight, Captain. Could get bumpy. Uh, right. <laughs> You'll be fine. Samia! Right! Oh, Captain, I'm so relieved I made it in time. Listen. That goes double for me, Sumia. And this, is this the same ordinary Pegasus we met on the road? <laughs> oh, she's a sweetheart, isn't she? Once you really get to know her. Good. Well, many thanks to you both. I think the Pegasus is blushing. 
I think we had all best focus on the situation at hand. Crumb. They're coming. <clears throat> all right, the Feroxy way it is. Defeat the commander. Unfortunately, she's just being overprotective, and we have no choice but to fight. Phileas said Pegasi could fly far, could fly far afield, but they're highly vulnerable to arrows. Don't worry, girl. I'll watch out for archers for both our sakes. Pegasi have the advantage of being able to fly over obstacles, so we could have Sumia fly all the way up here and get through the castle no problem, but she is incredibly weak to archers, so keep that in mind. You're going to want to make sure to not be near anyone with a bow and arrow, so otherwise you might get taken down in one hit, honestly. Sumia, from what I remember, is very fragile. She could go down in a, one hit regardless of what she's getting attacked by, so... I'll try and keep her away from too many dangerous situations. I uh, just want to check, see if there's anything new for us. Uh, one other thing, you may have noticed there's a green unit over here. Green units are sort of oddities, they're allies. Usually they could, it means that you can't really control them, they're just going to help you out on the battlefield, and uh, you don't have to worry about them because they're not going to attack you. But sometimes it can mean something else, it can mean it's uh, someone who's working up on the opposite team, but they're having second thoughts on what sort of uh, goal they're trying to achieve. So if you can make it over to them and have a conversation with them, you might be able to convince them to join your squad. However, you can't just have anyone go over to them. It always has to be the leader. So first things first, let's have Cromo, let's have Crom go over here and greet our new friend. <laughs> hmm? Why do I feel like I'm being watched? Don't you see me? Um, sir? Sir, right here, sir. <clears throat> Who's there? Show yourself! <clears throat> I'm standing in place in sight, sir. Right here. Huh? Whoa! Oh, is that you, Callum? When did you arrive? What? The same, the same time as you. I've been with you all along. Or, I am still a shepherd, right? It's quite the honor, after all. I'd hate to lose it. Sometimes I... Forgive me. Oh, of course, Kellum. You're just so quiet. I completely... <laughs> quite all right, sir. Quite all right. I've been told that I'm easy to miss. <sighs> At least the fair oxy didn't find you. Uh, you know me. I've been calling to you and waving my arms for several minutes. I don't think they've so much as glanced this way. Really? You almost sound disappointed. If you say so. I just... I'm glad you finally saw me. Well, just try to keep an eye out for me from now on. So this is a bit of a funny one. He isn't a complete stranger. He's actually a member of the Shepherds, but he's just so quiet and unnoticeable that we haven't noticed his presence until just now, which is really sticking funny. I think if you finish this battle without ever talking to him, he doesn't join you uh, any point forward, which is actually really bad. So make sure you get him right now. He's incredibly powerful. He's level five, which is really cool. Uh, he is kind of slow, though. As you can see, he's a knight and an armored unit, so his uh, walking is always going to be incredibly slow. But he's also really powerful on both offense and defense, so you have that to look forward to. Uh, anything else, though? I think we are good. If he falls in battle before we got him to join us, he would actually become gone for the rest of the game. So, uh, same goes for any other green allies we may see later down the line. So, make sure you protect your green allies and get to them with crumbs so we could make them blue. Now that's taken care of, let's get things started. Uh, Viron is useless in this turn. Great! Cool! Awesome! Uh, Sully... Or not, that's it's stall. Stolly. I'm gonna quit stalling for time and just uh, head on over here. Do we have any archers over here? Lance, sword, lance, okay. So we're gonna have Sumia go over here because I feel it's safe to do that. Alyssa, I guess you can go over with them because we got the uh, sort of fragile people over here. Uh, Kelm can reach him, which is nice. Robin can't reach anyone right now. Uh, hopefully that will change later. Uh, Sumia. Unfortunately, uh, Krom did waste his turn talking to Kellum, so uh, he isn't able to move for the rest of this turn, which is kind of lame, but whatever. Could put stall, uh, Sully right there, not stalling. I don't know why I keep getting them mixed up. Uh, Frederick right here, and let's see how much damage this guy does. Now, 
Okay, not too bad right off the bat. Enemy phase, let's go! Uh, we got a lance. Okay, Vic has the advantage. Can we finish him off? No, not quite. Got another one. Oh, he's attacking from afar, so we won't be... Okay, we got a miss, which is nice. I remember missing being a very big contributor throughout the majority of this game. It's just like, a lot of your battles can be decided whether or not enemies just miss. But not just that, whether or not uh, you decide to miss. And it's really completely random. If it isn't 100%, there's a very good chance that you'll end up missing. So, uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, let's not lose Sumia on the first turn. That'd be kind of unfortunate. Especially after that epic cutscene of her saving the day and whatnot. Uh, what do we got next? Everyone keeps attacking Vake. Going for the weakest ones I see. Okay. Hmm. What is it, Robin? Yeah. I've been thinking about how you rode with Somia earlier. Do our units always have to fight one on one? Really? Are you suggesting we pair up? That's an interesting thought. I admit I'm res I'd resemble a pincushion right now if it weren't for Sumia and her mount. I see. By pairing up, units could lend each other added offense and defense. It might also allow quicker soldiers to ferry soldiers uh, to ferry slower units great distances. Yes, yes, I'm sure of it. This opens up all sorts of strategic possibilities. We should try it whenever the opportunity presents itself. This is the most detrimental attribute to success in Fire Emblem Awakening. Pairing up with allies. You're going to want to do this at the beginning of every single battle. It will save you in the long run. It's not enough to just stand next to your allies and grow your stats that way, but pairing up will put you into a single square and it allows you both to move together. So if you have a super slow character like Callum join up with someone super quick like Sully, you could have Callum uh, travel very far distances, which is really stinking nice. And you makes it so you guys are always standing next to each other no matter what, so you don't have to like always uh, map out the, have them standing next on the proper square every single time. So that is incredibly useful. So what we're going to do is have Crom pair up with Robin. That unfortunately wastes Cromster, but what you're going to want to do now is... Uh, let's say we go over here, we could switch over to Krom and have him be the one who attacks. It's all a matter of who you prefer. So who has more HP and who's going to be left out to take the hit for when the enemies are attacking. And uh, who you think is best to gain the experience. Uh, I think we're going to have Robin's level 3. Let's switch to Krom's level 2 and have him finish off this guy. This is when the real meat and potatoes start coming out. So I'm very happy that we finally have this ability unlocked to us and... Uh, our character is going to be leveling up and getting a lot of good stats from here on out. Feel a huge difference. Yeah, you could definitely feel a huge difference. We've got a door key right now. A key we could use to open the fortress doors. Uh, the door's right over here, so... Oh, wait, no, there's a wall right here as well, so... Keys are specialized. To unlock a door, you need a door key. So, yeah, we get So, basically, sometimes we need to defeat a certain enemy who has a certain item that allows us to progress through the field. I don't think we can actually go through this door. We kind of just need to open one of these doors instead. Uh, do these guys? Uh, this guy also has a door key, so we could get through on this side as well, which is nice. Uh, so right now we are going to pair up with Sumia. I remember for some playing this game, I never paired up enemies, or I never paired up characters. And for whatever reason, I just like, I thought I would be missing out on attacks. I'm like, oh, they're paired up. I'm not going to be getting as many attacks in and stuff. It's a lame strategy to have them paired up. I kind of want to have everyone do as many attacks as possible. But no, you will honestly have trouble finishing this game in general if you do not pair up your allies and have them get the stat buffs and all that jazz. So it is detrimental to your success that you keep on doing that. So hopefully you heed my advice and we will have a happy happy time. But right now I definitely want to heal up Sumia. So we're going to do that right now. And Viron, we're going to have him stand right here, attack this guy. And uh, since he's standing in a shiny place, he could get a new item for us, presumably. And he got a level up without having to defeat an enemy. And let's see, what do we got here? We have... What is this filthy thing? Oh, well, I suppose I may as well give it a noble home. A ladle. Okay. Weak and ill-suited for battle, but it's a weapon. Okay. Uh, that could either be... I'm not sure if uh, turning your weapons into other weapons is a thing in this game. I forget what the technical term is called. Like when you go to a 
stinking like a locks not a locksmith a swordsmith a I don't know what it's called but uh I don't know if that's a thing in this game but it might just be a selling item who knows or maybe it's just an item for the sake of being an item uh let's see you're gonna team up uh Frederick with let's do hmm both of these guys are kind of slow let's do Callum with Frederick and then Frederick will go over here and fight this guy. Take him out. And then up next, we're going to have Vake team up with Sully. Sully will take care of this guy. And basically everyone on the lower path is gone now. Another good reason you want to pair up is because since Vake is the one in the back row, he's not going to be taking any damage. So you could just switch him around and make it so he's invincible, more or less. So that is very, very helpful. Especially for your mage, because Lissa can attack, and she's unfortunately not able to heal herself. So you're going to want to make sure she is safe and whatnot. Uh, we're gonna, I was sort of hoping to pair her up. I didn't want to heal Viron. Uh, let's go ahead and do that just so she doesn't get attacked. Oh, wait, no, she's still in the front, isn't she? Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see. Sumio will be able to take him out, but what about Stall? He can also do it, but I kind of wanted to focus on Sumia instead, so... I'm still undecided on which characters I want to keep with me throughout the entirety of the game. I would like to keep Sumia with me, because I like her character, but... I remember it being very difficult to keep her with me, so maybe that'll be a bit different this time around, because... We haven't gotten to a certain attribute in Fire Emblem Awakening yet, a certain uh, gameplay mechanic, but when we get to it, you guys are going to be really stinking mad at me for uh, something I'm about to tell you. Uh, we're, we'll get to that when we get to that, but basically just a really dumb thing that I didn't do in my first playthrough in terms of gameplay and whatnot. Uh, neither of us have the key. Yeah, it's uh, fortunately, you need to have the specific character who has the key to unlock the door, but now they are going to be releasing the brute force on us. Uh, we're going to... Uh, Frederick is what level? Frederick is still level 1 with the fruit. Let's change that, Frederick. Get out there and kick some booty. Uh, good, he dodges the attack. One hit KO. Finally gets a level up, though he doesn't really need it because he's Frederick. Stinging awesome. Wow, okay. He just got one stinging HP increase. Player face, that was it from them. It already feels as though Robin has been a shepherd forever. It's funny how fighting alongside someone speeds friendships along. And the more we fight side by side, the more valuable those friendships become. Support refers to the personal relationships between your units. As units grow more attached, they will fight better when the next to each other or paired up. Uh, choose support to have units converse and increase their support levels. Can you do support conversations out on the field? I don't think you can, units. Uh, I think you have to wait. Oh, wait, you get to heal from afar? What the fruit? I, what, what are you even doing? Uh, units, guide, options. I don't think you, you could do the communications until uh, afterwards. Uh, we got little things right here. Combinations on, other animations on, game speed, manual. Uh, you can hold in the A and stuff. Camera position all, map tilt, blah, 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 blah. Hopefully this is all good and whatnot. Unfortunately, because I'm recording this entire LP in advance, I can't really get advice from any of you on what things you want me to change. Uh, stairs right here makes it easier for us to dodge, so that's good. Uh, there's a sparkly warkly over here, but I think we're going to ignore that for now. Uh, attack this guy. <laughs> I like how Stahl was like, I could, or not Stahl Kellum, he was all like, I could help, but he just stands there. Uh, or rather, Frederick didn't really need his help. Uh, we're going to have Robin stand there. Eh, that probably wasn't a smart idea because this guy's going to be... Eh, no, because Robin is a mage. She can attack uh, up close to personal, no problem. Uh, Sumia has the door key, unfortunately, so... Huh. And eh, Lance, Lance. Okay, I guess we're fine. Open up that door. Lissa, you go ahead and heal her again. Because we probably need it. I don't know if you lose all the experience you got in a battle if you're... A uh, character ends up getting KO'd during filthy casual mode, but I'd rather not run the risk of that, so we're just not going to let anyone die. Sounds like a good plan. 
Oh jeez, elastic and damage. Very, very frail. But with the power of teamwork. Wow, okay. Four attacks, one after another. That's really good. Okay, time for Robin. Let's see, go ahead and do that. Very, very good. Uh, as long as the boss doesn't move, thankfully the boss does not move. Saves your uh, skin a lot more than you would imagine it would. Uh, Sully cannot reach anyone, so I guess we're just going to stand here for now. Uh, Vake can't do anything either. She just uses a lance, right? A javelin. Javelin could hit enemies from afar, so don't want to put them right there. Let's go ahead and get them, get this item. Hey, who left this junk line around? A Balmwood Staff. Restores and adjacent allies HP. Oh, that'd be good for uh, Lissa. Good to know. We'll have to trade that over to her later. Uh, he's got a hammer. We could go ahead and get that weapon if we defeat him. Uh, kind of have a bunch of weak allies over here. Uh, guess we could switch over to... I don't want to heal her again, do I? Eh, sure, why not? I just don't want to use up all of her uh, healing things on in this one battle. Let's go ahead and we'll switch over to Stall just so he can start doing some damage and protect Sumia, who's super frail. Uh, I don't want to take out the boss just yet because I want to make sure we get that hammer and also all the experience that we could. Uh, do we want to do that right now or... How strong is he? Wow, Frederick could just take, can take her down right now if we want to. Uh, Robin, not as much, so don't want to do that. I guess we'll stand right here. Uh, Robin's low on HP. If she just has to move, we're done for. You can see her area of movement, just so you can plan things out. If she does decide to move, you can see how far she could go. Not too far, thankfully. I guess this will be good for now. And we'll wait. What do we got? Okay, the lackeys are going. Stall takes a little bit of damage, nothing too terrible. And we take him out. So they, since they both attacked her in that fight, they both get experience, which is nice. Even if uh, Sumi isn't the main one, she'll still get experience. Uh, he's gonna go up and fight him next. Hit that, hit that, and hit that. There you go. Axe, or the hammer is sort of like an axe, so I think we could give that to a Vake later. Uh, gonna move them over here. Wait right here, have a uh, switch to Callum and attack her from afar. Let our battle sound out the truth of your words. Okay, thankfully Frederick uh, chimed in and gave us a little bit of extra damage. And now I think uh, Krom could finish this battle off. Oh, not quite. Switch to Robin. Okay, she could take him out if we want to. Though if she misses, that would be very bad. Just move to the side, I guess, maybe? Uh, I don't know, it's a 78% chance, but I guess we could risk it. Please don't regret this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, thank you. I didn't regret it. Then your claims were true. You know, it doesn't automatically mean that I was telling the truth just because I kicked your booty. I could just be super strong and evil. But okay, whatever. Works for me. I could tell I've gotten stronger. Robin and Crom MVPs. Forgive me. A thousand apologies, Prince Krom. I truly took you for brigand imposters. But no frauds could ever wage a battle as you just have. I will send word of your arrival to the capital and escort you there personally. Good. That would be most appreciated. Thank you. Wow. That was amazing. Her whole demeanor changed. Ferox, strength speaks louder than words. 
I should have known better than to overestimate the value of diplomacy here. Right. So can we get going, Krom? Mm. Yes, it's not getting any warmer. And that is it for Chapter 3. Things are looking up now that we made it into Ferox. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we're going to speak with these new people and see where our next plan is going to take us. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.